So I went to NECA in Philly this year, for those of you that haven't been, it is the National Electrical Contractors Association. They have this huge convention. They bring in all the big tool companies, all the big material companies, all the like newest, latest, greatest stuff that most of y'all don't get to see. So here's some of the cool stuff that we saw. Hey guys, it's Eric with The Wall, and we are showing off our new DCE 600 knockout tool. This tool has a capacity of 10 gauge mild and 12 gauge stainless steel with 11 tons of force output. It's got a nice 180 degree rotating head. On our dies, we actually have magnets that are embedded into our dies. We've got our standard crosshairs, we've got sight holes, again, just for maximum precision on your knockout punches. We actually have threadless punches. It allows users to actually quickly throw that punch onto their draw stud and follow up with your quick stud lock. Slide this, this die, this draw stud through their hole, follow up with their punch just like this, grab their quick stud lock, quickly throw it onto their system just like that. Folks can take their tool, hook it up to the draw stud, turn the tool on, and perform their punch just like that. DeWalt, guaranteed top. So next up we have Wago. Well, I'm Danny with Wago Corporation. Of the Wait, did he say Wago? Well, I'm Danny with Wago. Dude, I had no idea this was pronounced Wago. How many of you knew that? Leave a comment below. What we're going to show you today is some of the new products that we're featuring that actually won the Showstopper Award last year and introducing also the new gel box that is IPX8 rated, which means it was tested for three feet of water continuously submerged. This has been our traditional product over the last five to six years in the commercial environment. We make them in both up to 12 gauge and 10 gauge. These go all the way down to 24 gauge, solid stranded, and this, this goes down to 20 gauge. You can also mount these in carriers for a really clean installation. So for example, this carrier here, you can horizontally mount it with your screws this way. You can vertically mount it this way. Or if you have a piece of DIN rail, you can actually mount it this way on the DIN rail. You can take these connectors and you can actually snap them in place and gang them together. We have jump ring systems for these, and you can actually open the levers while terminated. This is our inline butt splice, and it has almost twice the pullout retention than the mechanical crown. And on these gel boxes, they come in different sizes, as you can see here. And the reasoning for this is when you put your connector in here for your waterproof termination, it displaces the gel. And depending on how many you have, obviously the larger enclosure, but what's unique about this is it has a dielectric rating of 2,500 volts. So if you wanted to do a motor lead termination for L1, L2, L3 for a 480 volt system, you can actually have three different potentials clamped and snapped under one gel pack. You can direct bury them for landscape lighting. Um, great for your municipalities where you have a lot of corrosion issues. Next, we stop at Schneider's booth. Schneider's doing a lot of really cool things with uh, smart panels. So making a panel have some kind of smarts intelligence to it, app control. So check out the pulse panel that they just came out with. Hi, I'm Patrick Bizignari with Schneider Electric, and I wanted to introduce you guys to our Pulse panel. So what we have here is a QO load center. It's a split bus load center with our critical loads, and then your, um, the loads that you can have kind of turn off that you're not as worried about in your home if you lose power. Um, built in, we have an automatic transfer switch. You got your main disconnect and then the uh, utility meter. Uh, this is actually a modular unit, so in some uh, utilities, you can have the main disconnect and the utility outside, and then you would have a main lug load center inside your house, in the garage, wherever it might be, with the built-in ATS. Uh, this little green thing is our little symbol for our wiser relay. So that's the brains behind the entire unit. So what that does is that allows you to monitor all your circuits, all the way down to your smart devices, whether it's a receptacle or a switch, one of the other things that's pretty awesome is that with this Wiser Relay, it goes to a smart device on your phone, right? And that device allows you to do load shedding and it also just allows you to monitor the circuits, right? So you can see where your power is going, where, you know, if your water heater is taking 30% of your electric bill, you might want to get that changed. So this will take about three weeks to learn what your house does. And after that, then you're good to go. And you can get as detailed as you want with the system. 
Next is a company called Kojo. Uh, Kojo is kind of partnered in a way with Schneider Electric, um, but they are developing an app essentially for field services. And I think that the way that their app works is really, really interesting. All right, so Maria, what do you guys got going on here? I see all this beautiful branding and golf, but like, what do you do? We love branding and golf. Uh, <laughs> all right. We end the bright yellow is, uh, is especially a highlight. Very smart, yeah. stands out. What we do at Kojo, so we do materials management. So okay. we help commercial trade contractors specifically electrical, but also mechanical, plumbing, et cetera. Okay. We help them actually automate everything from the beginning of a project and getting the bill of materials in a digital format, all the way through to automating requisitions, POs, warehouse management, tool tracking, making sure all your invoices are correct. Okay. So that kind of solves like every problem that we have. I think every problem <laughs> that the industry faces, we yeah. solve right now. So can I actually see like a demonstration of what you're doing? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So every foreman, has a Kojo app on their phone. So I log in. Here we integrate with all of the jobs that the foreman does. So on this case, let's say we're gonna work on the Hard Rock Hotel. Here I can really easily go in and find the items that I need, maybe not chicken lips, but we'll see, <laughs> in a really quick format. So the idea is this is like an Amazon for construction, right? You have all of the main items that you might order, all easily cataloged. Let's say I want wire, right? I have all my options here. And in just a couple quick clicks, I can specify exactly what I need, add it to the cart, specify the quantity, add to cart, that's it. And so okay. it's that simple. So how do you tie in with distribution then? So we have integrations with most of the major distributors in the country, and we automatically plug into their system so we can show you price and availability so that you- You actually have, have accurate real-time availability though? We, we do. I, is that, is I just doubt it because I see a lot of the, like specifically in Austin, it's a lot of like mom and pop kind of stores. And it seems like their own inventory management's really difficult to see the accuracy of. It's as accurate as their system is. So we'll plug okay. in via direct EDI connections and as accurate as their system is, that's what we'll be able to see. So if their system is up to date, then yes. Okay. If their system isn't, yeah. Then it's, it's down to that system. Okay. But the idea is then, you know, then I as a foreman, similar to an Amazon, I can now quickly submit my cart. I also can see status pages so I can see what was ordered and when and what's complete, what's in back order, what's drafted. I can also receive POs now. So okay. when deliveries come in, I can go in, I can receive against a PO, right? And mark if any given item was damaged, what of it was damaged. So the idea is that now all communication is logged electronically. You have no a digital misunderstandings, record of it. yeah. Imp impossible to misunderstand. Yeah. And now your office and your field team are in sync. Yeah. And so in the office, I as a purchasing agent, I can see all my requisitions that are coming in, coming in, and I can sort them by when they were requested by, when they're needed by. So I can prioritize my work. And as I log in. I can off of these create as many RFQs as I want because a lot of our customers, and we work with about 500 electrical contractors all over the country, people want to see that they're getting the best price. Yeah, absolutely. So you can take these and you can turn them into immediate POs. You can go and you can actually turn them into RFQs. And the whole idea is you know, it's really, really fast to do. That sounds really cool. Like that's innovative. I think that's amazing. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. Yeah. Great to be here. Next up was a company called Current Tools and they have this machine right here that you can stick multiple sticks of conduit in and set it to bend offsets for you so that you're doing multiple at a time. I'm Bill Jones, I'm with Current Tools. We're based out of Greenville, South Carolina. This is one of our newer products. This is the 754 offset bender. It'll bend offsets. It'll do half, three quarter, and one inch offset. There's also a shoe that you can purchase that'll do four one half inch pieces like this, all in one shot. And there's also a shoe that you can do that'll do two three quarters at once. It works with anybody's drill, just not a impact type drill. It's also fully adjustable. If you need to make multiple offset bends, there's this little rod here that you can rise up, set your height, and you can make bend over bend over bend with the exact same rise and height. Um, it's, it's made for production. Uh, made in the USA, it's in stock, ready to go right now. 
Next up is a company called Hammond. Some of you may know who they are. They make transformers. So let's see what they got. Hammond Power Solutions has been in business for over 100 years. Uh, we're a dry type manufacturer based out of Guelph, Ontario, Canada. We manufacture in multiple locations, primarily Canada, the United States, and Mexico. We manufacture dry type transformers such as the transformer that's right here. This transformer is a three-phase distribution transformer, low voltage, used in the commercial industry for such things as schools, hospitals, commercial buildings. Um, it is a dry type, low voltage, built to the DOE 2016 standards, which meets all of the criteria for US electrical requirements. Our products come with all kinds of features and benefits that ease the installation for our contractors. We have extended feet, mechanical lugs, extended neutrals, custom enclosures are available, all kinds of benefits that we can offer to our customers that's going to save them time, money on every installation that they do. Next up, we went to a booth from Livingston Energy. They do uh, some really unique things with EV charging. So guys, we're Livingston Energy Group. So this is our level two charging station, right? It's a flex unit, so it can be set to as low as three kilowatts to as high as 19 kilowatts, all in the same piece of hardware, okay? We design it with a quick swap faceplate. What that means is all of the components that typically break in a charging station are designed on the backside of this faceplate. So if it breaks, there's no more trying to diagnose from a million miles away what's wrong with it. The faceplate comes off, there's a ribbon cable into the back of the station, and all I'm doing is swapping a faceplate and it's back up and running. So when you guys have customers calling you and all you did was install it because they're not working, now we can fix it very quickly. No more two month lead times on getting a charger fixed. We can get it back up and running almost immediately. Next is Knipex or Knipex or Nipex, Nipex, whatever you say. They have told me personally that it is Knipex back a while ago when I was partnered with them and this guy that you're about to hear calls it Knipex, so whatever. Hey, it's Pete with Knipex Tools. We wanna to show you a few things today. One of the things we want to point to your attention is this wall that we built over here for the Nika show, specifically. We wanna show you different applications. We have wire for conduit, we have Romex, and we also have BX, okay? Because a lot of different applications. What we also wanna show you is that we've got a lot of tools that meet a lot of those needs cut wire, strip wire, stuff like that. This is the newest one in here. This is the needle nose combination pliers, okay? We have one that's similar, it's a smaller one, this guy in here, but we came out with a larger one. The reason for that is I can actually reach in a little bit deeper, some tight areas. It's got a needle nose front to it. There's a small hole on the front of it. That's good for looping wire. It's got an area here to grip on the pipe. I'm gonna go right down here, grip on the pipe right there, okay? And I've also got a cutter right back in here. And what I can do is obviously cut some wire like that. And I can also take the, the ground and loop wire. That's what we got new for the show. Next up I thought was really cool was Allied BIM. So BIM is something that a lot of people are using nowadays. It's building information modeling. So essentially um, you can take a set of plans and figure out a model of what this building is gonna need. And it's a great way to be able to get every single conduit run, the lengths of all of your wires, everything already pre-configured. So this is usually on like, uh, sky rises, you know, huge buildings where you need all of this information managed so that you know your materials very, very accurately. But what I think is cool about this is they have a way to mark the conduit out and kind of print what each piece of the whole production line is gonna be right on the conduit. That includes any of your bends, your offsets, stuff like that. Hi, my name is Brian Nickel. I'm the CEO of Allied BIM. Uh, we are a model to machine manufacturing system from Revit to machine. Uh, this is a Scotchman CPO 350. It's a semi-automatic linear positioning system. Our software takes a Revit model and it converts all of the electrical components into fabricatable pieces. We process all of our conduit, unistrut, and all thread directly through this system. We inkjet all of the bend locations and instructions on every element. Uh, we have a patent currently pending on that process so no one else is able to do it. Uh, we ink all the instructions, it'll come off, it'll feed your Cyclone B2000. We also have a partnership with Crippa. They've been developing a CNC tube bender, which is up over this guy's shoulder on the screen. Um, it allows us to process all the conduit lengths from a data matrix where we can scan it, load it, and bend it 
We can bend half inch all the way through six inch EMT, IMC, and rigid in less than 45 seconds per stick. Thank you. Now, Gore-Tex is something that I was familiar from uh, the being in the Marine Corps. We had Gore-Tex suits that we would wear, and it's a special kind of fabric, essentially. Um, but it was like, you know, we would wear our Gore-Tex because if it was wet out, we could wear this in like a thunderstorm, and it didn't matter. We could just stand there and not get wet. So it's cool to see that they're using Gore-Tex for arc flash protection with PPE. Hi, how you doing? My name is Jim Ellis. I'm here with Gore-Tex Professional. We're gonna show you today brand new technology Lightweight, very comfortable, 40 cal arc flash protection. So right here you can see the suit, comes in eye visible um, colors. It's a single ply technology. This unique single ply technology replaces the very bulky, heavy gear that's out in the market now. And what we've done is we've uh, developed a single ply technology here that will allow the worker to be much more comfortable and ease of movement. This single ply here, what you can see happening is that this ingredient that we have in here called pyrad. And the pyrad is there when you have a thermal event, it's going to absorb that energy. It's gonna expand 10 times its micro size. It's going to uh, absorb that energy and it's going to kick off a system that's gonna um, create, basically um, uh, eliminate uh, flame propagation. So put a potential fire on the garment out very quickly, right? So very low after flame with this technology. And what you can see here is that there's a structure that we have on the back side. This structure will expand. And when this structure expands, it's creating an air pocket. And this air pocket is also thermally protective, right? So when you have air, it's an insulator for any thermal um, energy event, like an arc flash. And so all of this system together creates a very lightweight system that's easy to wear, comfortable. We hope that it keeps workers safe throughout the day. Thank you. All right, so that was pretty much it. There's a whole bunch of things we didn't cover. There's things like uh, helmets to hard hats, which is a, a cool like military um, community that tries to fit exiting military service members and get them into skilled trades, which I think is really cool. If you're interested in that, check out our podcast on Spotify or on uh, iTunes. Um, we, we have like a segment in there that we talk about what they do and kind of how everything works. But we also went to Southwire. Southwire's got a whole bunch of crazy stuff that they're doing. They've got MC that pulls in both directions. They got a lot of pulling solutions, so they have this whole motorized puller. Um, they've got some wire reels that will actually like rotate and allow you to move huge rolls of wire. Um, a bunch of different lights that they're working on, but just all kinds of really cool stuff. So there's tons of companies there doing really, really cool things. So there's a lot of innovation in our space. That's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys got something out of that. Love you crazy people, and I'll see you in the next one.